Good afternoon. It's a very windy day in Cougar Country, but that's okay because it's an equally beautiful day here at Westside Leadership Academy. My name is Chelsea Whittington and I am proudly representing the Gary Community School Corporation, bringing you live coverage, a sneak peek, if you will, inside of our very first track meet of the season and the very first home track meet in years. Pardon the wind, but I hope you can hear me and I want to show you exactly what's going on as the competition has begun. They're warming up and our students are here. Students from not only Westside Leadership Academy, but other schools from around the region. For those of you who haven't heard, Westside Leadership Academy has a newly installed track and today will be the first time that they professionally compete against other schools and it's a proud day as there's blue and orange everywhere smiles everywhere and school pride everywhere one special special feature is that the school now has a brand new jumbotron so not only will we be able to see the score we'll also be able to see instant replays photo finishes and all types of memories and captures of images that we like to portray for our dear West Side. We're extremely excited for the simple fact that our young people indeed deserve this type of facility, state of the art. And we see other schools and students out here running and warming up. I've seen students from Hammond Morton. They just circled the track. And if you can see in the distance, I'll walk that way, you can see the competition is warming up. And if you ask me, since I'm a cougar, they better warm up good because we are ready for them. Also on the scene are some of our retired educators, past coaches who have come out to show their support and celebrate with us on this special day. So we will be giving periodic coverage of all the different things that are gonna be happening, track and field events. So we have the shot put, we have the long jump, of course, your standard races. I am no expert on um, track and field. However, I know that walking on this track feels very good. Here's one of our student athletes right here, Sarah Burton. This is our first meet in 13 years. So you weren't even a thought at Westside when this all started, but you're here now. How do you feel about today? Um, it feels good to finally be able to run on the track again. Uh, another place to bring everybody together. That's right. And so what are your events? What are you competing in? I'm running the 400 and the 4x4. Four four. All right. Well, good luck, Sarah. We're proud of you. Sarah Burton is a, one of our star student athletes. She is a senior, and she also played on our basketball team. She's a star on our basketball team. She's a star in the classroom. And now she's getting ready to be a star on our new track field. The other good news I wanted to share with those of you who are watching is that on Monday, April 18th, we will begin the renovation of the football field. That's right. The football field turf will be totally installed. And that is another reason for you to be proud of your West Side Leadership Academy and the Gary Community School Corporation. I'm going to pan up high. If you can see, our press box is being remodeled. It has been painted, new windows, and an entire new sound system being installed just in time for football season. So I want you all to just get ready, get ready, get ready for an amazing season of all types of sports right here at Westside Leadership Academy. If you're watching and ready to come out, you have plenty of time. As you well know, track meets aren't the shortest sport on the books. In fact, they'll be out here for the next few hours. We're at 900 Jerry Street in Gary, Indiana. And I am so delighted to have so many people tuned in. I'm gonna go over here by our Cougars. It's a little windy out here but it looks like they are ready. Are you all ready for a good meet today? All right, Cougars, pause up. K 
can't get enough of this blue and orange. As we all know that Westside Leadership Academy, thank you. They say they like my shoes. I have my orange, my orange shoes on in support of my Cougars. I see another one of our class sponsors over here. How are you, How are you Mr. I'm doing Nichols? great. Tell me about today. I know we're making history. Absolutely, and I'm so excited to be here. Um, 10 years, right? 13. 13. 13. Wow, 13 years. So I'm really excited for being here, and shout out to the Cougars. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> what does it mean for you being a teacher, the, just seeing this transformation on behalf of them in support of them? Um, I think it's a great transformation, especially for our now students and especially our future students yeah. to reserve and preserve um, this history. This is a lot of history around us. Yes, so to preserve is. this and to allow the students to, you know, engage and make a great experience out of it. And more than anything, I just think that there's a lot of cougar pride going on absolutely, around here. Absolutely. Yes. So what would you say to the parents, the community, they're watching? how they should get involved and be a part of supporting our young people. I mean, if you just turn the camera behind me, this is the very reason why we should be involved. Look at these. These are our future leaders of tomorrow. So, of course, we want to make sure that we support them in anything that they do. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is so great to be here. Thank you so much. Good luck, Cougars. Yes, we are here at Westside Leadership Academy. The team is out because we are excited. And like I said, the, the Jumbotron is all lit up for you Cougars and, and past Cougars and future Cougars. You need to come out and see this for yourselves. It's so big and beautiful and bright. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There's also a Jumbotron in the gymnasium. So whether you're inside or outside at Westside Leadership Academy, you're going to get Big action, and right up on the Jumbo Trial right now is a tribute to Coach Eugene Johnson. Who doesn't know famed Coach Eugene Johnson? And Coach Johnson is here today. I just saw him earlier, and I promised if I found him on the grounds when I was live, I would come back and get a quick interview with him. But let me just give you this glimpse onto the Jumbo Trial tribute to the legendary Coach Eugene Johnson. Coach teacher mentor I may sound a little winded because I'm walking the track and the wonderful thing about this track is it is also open to the community daily when people want to come and do a few laps get a little exercise in it's a perfect peaceful scenic area for you to come and admire the grounds of Westside Leadership Academy I'm approaching the other side now, and they are setting up the hurdles. I wonder if we have any alumni who used to run for Westside who are watching. Well, you will be glad to know that there are brand new hurdles that they're putting out that boast the blue and orange colors. In fact, let's get a little closer and capture the setup. But before we do that, we're gonna have a quick word with Esther Goods, our director of elementary education, who is also a cougar bundled up. Go Cougars! Go, 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 Cougars, go! But I know we're excited. How you feel? I feel like, you know, we used to do a cheer. It's cold outside, the wind may blow, but we still got that spirit. Go Cougars, go! I totally forgot you were a cheerleader. Right. Stop it. Right, 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 right. That is what I did. What but is I of all to be able to be an employee of the district and be able to give back to my school my community you know my home my love um it's awesome i i just i always say if you cut me i bleed orange and blue yes i am a cougar true yes so to be able to have this experience for me is really it's personal it is it really is it's personal it, it gets to my heart okay but then to be able to see the kids doing what I used to do and 
even they have so much more look at the track the track is beautiful yeah. and the jumbotron it's the jumbotron the, jumbotron, the track all of the amenities out here on this track and field is this just wonderful i remember the days when i cheered out here we didn't have this i said maybe if i was flipping on this when in the 90s these knees wouldn't be as funny acting as they are now, now in the 20s so, so yeah. Well, I'm hoping that they will show their prowess and skills. Yeah. We want to go capture the um, Central, hurdles Central, being erected, you, but I want to say thank you for being here. Thank things. you for what you do for thank our kids. Absolutely. Here. Thank you for allowing me to serve. Cougars for life. Calls up, and that was Esther Goods, our director of elementary education. Now, as I promised, oh my goodness, do we have an Olympian on the field? Alert, alert, there's an Olympian on the field. This is Rhonda Brady Giles. Giles, hello. I am live on the Gary Community School Corporation page, and I was just saying that legends are in the house, and you are just confirming it. Rhonda, can you please just, just please tell everybody um, your history and track and what today means, I'm sure, for these student athletes. Well, uh, once upon a time, I, <laughs> I was um, junior national champion, a state champion, and I won the 100 meter hurdles Olympic trials in 1976. Oh my gosh. And I'm here getting my track fixed. Yes. Because I'm a track and field fanatic. So when I was contacted to clerk the meet, I was thrilled to death because I love track and field. And I'm so happy to be here on Westside's new track helping out i am so glad to see you what words of encouragement would you give our student athletes of today have fun and do your best all right <laughs> sounds good so good to see you thank you i told you i told you viewing audience that we have legends here I can't say in the building because we're outside but we are at west side leadership academy 900 jerry street people are starting to get in the stands and here are these brand new hurdles that i was telling you about I'm too old to jump them, but I'm young enough to be here to watch our young people compete against neighboring schools. Today's meet, I believe, is against Hammond Morton. I'm sure I saw students from Hammond Morton, but there may be other schools headed this way. But I, we will find out as we will continue live coverage right here at Westside Leadership Academy, 900 Jerry Street. You still have time to get here. As you know how track meets go, they'll go for hours and hours and our students get to enjoy themselves and we get to cheer them on. At last, we're getting a break from the wind. So hopefully you can hear me. If there are any Cougars watching, please check in in the comments below. And just all the supporters of the Gary Community School Corporation, I feel like this is a great time to remind you that we are enrolling. So if you have a child that's interested in attending any school in the Gary Community School Corporation, what a great decision that would be. Make a phone call, 219-881-5466 to get the process started. Particularly for Westside Leadership Academy, we'll be having a series of events, Cougar Commitment Night, which will take place April 28th, where we're asking parents and students to come out from four to six and make that commitment to Westside Leadership Academy. We will also have Cougar Conversations where we have the opportunity for students to voice their opinions, their concerns, their desires and wants. And I see some students whom I know some of our ambassadors and student athletes. Is that Mariah Swain? I know you're winded, but you already know I'm coming over to you. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, first and Thank foremost. You. What does today mean to you with a new track? It means a lot. I haven't um, ran on this track since I was in seventh grade. When we did the city meet so it's just good to have a new track and you know to be able to host the meet yes so what um let me see how do i say it what what what's your area what do you run <laughs> uh, so i run the hurdles so i do the 100 and the 300 meter hurdles all right well i'm gonna let you get back to warming up i just wanted to come over and say good luck and go cougars Thank you. is that lebaron burton jr See, I know my students here at Westside Leadership Academy. Hey, LeBaron, just give us some words today on how you're feeling about today 
new track, new attitude, new everything. Uh, I'm just really excited to get the chance to run on the track after 13 years of not being able to use it. Yeah. Yes, and you as a student athlete, what would you say to other up and coming students coming to West Side about why it would be a good choice to be here? Well, as far as the um, athletics <laughs> and you know all the good stuff, I know you're winded. I'm sorry, LeBaron, I couldn't resist. As, as far as the athletics, it's just as much as a commitment as the education. So if you want, if you really want to do what you want to do, and you want to be an athlete or you want to be a scholar. The best place for you is West Side because you have people to, to support you. Thank you so much, LeBaron. And for those of you who are watching, I did not prod nor coach him. Those are his words, his sentiments. Thank you, LeBaron Burton Jr. You are tuned in live to the Gary Community School Corporation page. I'm hosting today Chelsea Whittington. So excited to be here to give you live coverage. A peek inside the first track meet in 13 years. Yes, Miss Burton, I see his mom has tuned in. Another West Side alum class of 1990. I know some of my West Side history because I sat in these same bleachers, played in the band, cheered on my classmates, and it's an honor now to come and cheer on our future generations of Cougars. You still have time to get here, 900 Jerry Street. You know the place, you know the time, because you know this is Cougar Country, new track, new jumbotron, new clocks, new press box, new attitude. Enroll your child now in the Gary Community School Corporation. We're only a phone call away. 219-881-5466. Some of you are laughing because I'm winded. I can't run these tracks like I used to. 219-881-5466. I'm gonna head over here to the announcer's table because there's someone whom I think you should hear from who has been very active in our community for many years and continues to help with our students through just being supportive, having um, volunteering, and just having a regular presence in our school corporation. And he's actually talking to our legend, our Olympian. This is none other than Pastor Dwight A. Gardner. <laughs> e. Gardner. And you are in your place, Pastor Gardner. What, how are you feeling about today? I, I keep trying to get out, but it's like the mafia. The closer I get to getting out, they draw me back that's in. That's right. That's but right. I, wouldn't rather, I would rather be in no other place than being part of this day. It has been 13 years since we've hosted a meet at this facility. 13 years. 13 years. And through the sacrifice, through the referendum, through the work of the Gary Community School Corporation leadership, we are back open and ready to roll. Ready to and roll. And I couldn't be more excited about it. Now, you're a track dad. Yeah. So there's a special kind of feeling that you're probably exuding, and I know you have to get to work, but you got to just give me a track dad's perspective. Um, do we have the right track now? Do we have all the equipment we need? Oh, it's good to go. It's good it, to go. It, could, it could not be any better. The school administration is all on board. All of the coaches in the school are working together to make these things happen. It couldn't be better. We are headed in a whole new direction. And I got to say it, Pastor. We're on the right track. Bye. <laughs> And you heard it from one of our staunch supporters, Pastor Dwight Gardner, pastor of the Trinity events, Missionary Baptist the Church. So he's All in his place as teams, the announcer. I also see our chief academic officer, for four by meter relay. Kim Bradley. Just want to, to say hi. How you feeling today? I'm so excited. This is awesome. My track is beautiful. We just found out that it's been 13 years since the last events at this track. Yes. This is awesome. We are very excited for our kids. Well, I'm loving you in this blue and orange, you horseman graduate you. I, I have embraced Westside, <laughs> and I'm very excited about uh, us being out here today. So. Well, I just want to say on behalf of all of us, we're in this together, and we thank you for everything you do on behalf of children. Really, all the time. All right, that's Kimberly Bradley, our chief academic officer. She's all things academics, but today we are all things student athletes. We are at Westside Leadership Academy. Let's venture over to, I want to say this is, 
the long jump pit again forgive me i am not a track connoisseur all i know is that the track is looking great the jumbotron is looking great the long jump pit is looking great everybody's looking great in their orange and blue and i think you can hear the excitement in my voice the cougar pride and just the ability to serve our children. This is our opportunity to come together as a community. And we did it, as Pastor Gardner indicated earlier. We're here at this point with all of these renovations as a result of the support of the community and the referendum in 2020. Dollars to help improve facilities. And part of those dollars were for the trap renovation. And so, these are the fruits of our labor, thanks to community involvement, community support, all for the sake of our young people. So I see our athletic director, Coach Robert Lee. It looks like he is judging the shot put competition. So I'm gonna lower my voice, but I wanna bring you in just to see what the shot put area looks like. Again, this is all on West Side's campus. A proud day in Cougar Country. And there you have it. How are you today? There's Quincy Williams. She is the daughter of a West Side graduate, and she is now a student athlete here following the legacy of her family as Cougars. We have the competition here. Hello, coach. How are you today? What do you think about just the facility from a professional standpoint, being a track coach and just an athlete all around? Well, just specifically on the facility, is it immaculate? Everything is well put together. It is, I'm so happy to see it. I've been running on this track since I was a kid and it's the first time, you know, probably in- 13 years, they say. I thought it was 15. 30. It, it, it might be. It's it might been be. a long time. How about that? Yeah, I'm just happy to see it, man. I'm, I'm glad to see the money is going to be used, especially over the time this Gary's has had in the track program over the years. It's, it's, finally, it's well over well over. Well, I have to say this to be politically correct. Good luck and everything. And welcome to Cougar Country. Good to see you. You got to love Gary. You got to love the camaraderie. And here's a Cougar shot put. All right, looking good over here in the shot put. Very good, very good. If you're just tuning in, this is Chelsea Whittington on behalf of the Gary Community School Corporation. We are at Westside Leadership Academy. Such excitement everywhere you go. I think I've been on for almost 30 minutes trying to take you and give you an inside glimpse of everything that's taking place. And as you can see, there's a lot taking place. We are proud. We are Cougar True, orange and blue. And again, you still have time to get here. The concession stand is open. The wind has subsided somewhat. And we are here, here for our children. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to close out one more time with this powerful image on our Jumbotron. None other than a tribute to coach Eugene Johnson. It's always an honor to be able to give people their flowers while they yet live. Everyone have an amazing evening and go Westside.